Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Let's talk about Dominic Team for a bit. He just withdrew from Wimbledon a few days ago along with Sasha Zverev. Zverev, as you know, has the very bad fall in the French Open while Team is not currently injured, but he's looking for his form and he hasn't had the best of results on grass courts, as you might know. At 2017, he reached the fourth round at Wimbledon. He won the Stuttgart ATP 250 on grass 2016. But overall, his record on grass courts on the ATP Tour is 14 wins and 15 losses, which is pretty bad compared to the rest of his records. The issue here is more that he hasn't won a match since he returned to the Tour. In April, he played one challenger. He lost that one. That was the first match. Pretty understandable. And then he played six ATP events on clay and he lost every single one. He actually only won one set. So as you know, he had a huge wrist injury, actually two injuries that followed and also hand problems. So there is stuff there that needs to be resolved. And I think although that might he might be physically fit and fine now, it could be a mental issue as well. And also a technical issue because he might be hitting the forehand differently. Changing something in his stroke will change the margins of the shot, the confidence in his shot and his technique and uh, will impact his game. And it's been sad to watch him, him not find his his top game obviously takes a while. Andy Murray told him after the, the match that they played, that Andy won, that he needs to be patient because it's going to take a long time to be back. And that's that's the nature of professional sport. It's very injury prone. You're putting your body to the max at all times to, to achieve your the best results possibly. And injuries can be anywhere around the corner, just one bad slip or a fall or something and you might be injured and you might be out for a long time. And there have been players who've been plagued by injuries for their whole career, changed the trajectory of their careers, uh, like Del Potro, for example, with all the knee issues, wrist issues, and uh, really put him away from the game completely for years. And then in the end, he had to retire. Almagro was another one that suffered from injuries that had good potential. Kokinakis, although he's back now playing, he still had pretty much any injury imaginable and it really held him from his full potential so it's been a tough period for Dominic team and there is a great uh, short documentary about it on the ATP tour a YouTube channel uh, so you can watch him there be interviewed about the process how he's working hard to get back to the game he has put up a lot of videos on Instagram kind of showing how much effort he puts into his his daily work and uh, getting back physically fit getting back to hitting the ball as well as he can uh, but obviously he's always been kind of a physical beast and I think in this case the issues might be more on the mental side because he has to get back to winning matches and losing matches uh, over a period can build up some scar tissue and, and make you lose confidence and I think he needs to just find a way to get back to, to winning ways, trusting his wrist and then things will, will hopefully fall into place because he's a, he's a nice guy, he deserves success, he has a great game when he's on. As you know he won the, the US Open during that weird no crowd 2020 year and he won five ATP titles in 2019. So he was three in the world and now he's around 350 in the world. It doesn't feel right. And I hope he can come back to, to winning ways. Uh, give me your thoughts about team's uh, current injury and status. When do you think he will return to, to winning more matches and to coming back to actually being a threat on the tour? Do you think it's, it's gonna be difficult now? He's not that old, so he has time. That's definitely the case. We know he has the game and the power, especially on clay. So it's more about, about finding the path back. Maybe a change of something in the team, maybe a change of something else uh, could help him, him find his, his way back. But uh, all the best to him for 2022. Now I want to thank the, the sponsor of uh, my YouTube channel, Ongoing Episodes. It's the Singles Playbook from Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It teaches you different tactics and plays through videos and this pamphlet. So you really learn how to beat pushers aggressive baseliners, serving volleyers, and you get good examples of how to construct your point. And it's, tennis is not rocket science, but it can feel like that when you're playing in the midst of a match and the pressure is on. So this stuff will help you work on, on winning plays and ways to actually construct points. It's difficult for many club players to think about how to construct points, but when you start learning how to do it, it, it helps a lot in, uh, in improving your tennis and becoming a better player. So check out uh, Fuzzy Yellow Balls singles playbook there's also a doubles one if you prefer doubles link in the description if you want to support the work i do please also check out my other affiliates such as play your court where you can find a hitting partner or a coach 50 percent off with my link there are also other links to tennis warehouse and so on in the description below if you use the links and buy something i get a small commission at no extra cost to you have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis